Hey guys, it's me, JSH2O. I welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be back this week to test all the new No Glue Slime recipes. These notification squad shoutouts go to Alpha Rose, Maya Herrick, Midnight Cow, and also Mira Cat. If you would like to get a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is just subscribe and put the notification bell on. Upon some slime research, I found out that actually stickers have a backing that is polyvinyl on it. So basically, the sticky part has polyvinyl so that it can be sticky. And so I thought we could soak some stickers in some water and maybe make some sort of a glue solution that we could either like freeze or activate. So we are going to be testing that out right now. I did find out that the paper stickers actually will have the glue release easier into the water than the actual like plasticky stickers so i did find that out pretty quickly these stickers soak into the water the glue that was on the back of the stickers released into the water and made these like little bubbles you guys can see so i just removed the stickers and i kept repeating this process until i had a bunch of the sticker glue in my water you can either freeze it or add some sort of a borax activator i actually did both i added a little bit of borax activator and i also put it in the freezer for 15 minutes and here is how it turned out you guys this was so crazy because i've never seen anybody do this before but it basically made this small clear slime and i just kept repeating this process until i made a decent sized sticker slime batch Felt like just normal glue slime and when i mixed it though the one problem was is it turned white which i was super not so happy about because i was super excited that it had made a clear slime before but what i did is i just kept repeating this process until i made a small clear slime and i let it sit for maybe about a week and here is how the clear slime turned out and yeah this is how the slime turned out it basically just made a normal glue slime so i was super excited about this new invention was finally able to get this recipe to work to make slime with nail polish remover and foam so it is super amazing you can basically turn any foam that you have into slime just by putting some acetone nail polish remover on it it is so amazing so we're going to be doing that right now i used now. these foam balls as my foam because i thought they looked cool and i put some of my favorite glitter that i have right now onto these which are these hemway holographic stars which i will talk a little bit more about hemway later in the video but what you need to make sure is that your nail polish remover says 100 percent acetone i tested this recipe a lot in the past and i never understood why i couldn't get it to work but what i realized is that i was using acetone free nail polish remover that i stole from my sister and so that is why it wasn't working the foam is going to turn into a plasticky slime consistency once it starts melting but what you need to do is squish your foam now this is actually super fun because it is super cold but if you do this i would recommend using gloves because the nail polish remover can be really harsh on your skin i had never felt anything like this before because the foam was super cold and it also was feeling like it was turning into liquid but at the same time it felt like it was like the stiff plastic so it was super strange because of the chemical reaction but sure enough it did turn into slime which was super exciting because again as i said earlier before i kept failing out this recipe and the little holographic stars that i added from hemway made it look super cool if your foam is still stiff you can keep dunking it into the acetone nail polish remover and it will get thinner and thinner until it is like a pokeable slime consistency it's still going to be kind of plasticky but this made a super cool slime and i loved all the holographic stars on it I know that you guys all probably have toothpaste at home, so I'm going to be sharing a quick recipe to make slime with some toothpaste. You can try this with whatever toothpaste you have. I would recommend making a small batch first to make sure it works, but I'm using this Colgate cavity protection toothpaste. To make this slime, all you need to do is start off by adding in one fourth a cup of toothpaste into a microwave safe bowl. Next, you're going to need to add in some shampoo into your toothpaste. Pretty much any shampoo will work for this. So don't worry if you don't have this certain shampoo. Any shampoo will work. Clear shampoo, white shampoo, anything. I'm just going to add in a couple pumps into my toothpaste. Now I'm just going to mix these two ingredients together. And you guys can see it will start thickening up a slight bit. But it also might feel like it is melting a tiny bit. Now you're just going to pop this into the microwave for 30 seconds. This is what is going to turn it into slime. Once you have put it in for 30 seconds, then take it out again and then just keep in completing this process until you end up with a non-sticky slime. Before I have done two 30 second intervals, I'm going to keep putting it in and mixing it because it is still super sticky and has not dried out yet. Whoa. So guys, 
it kind of exploded in the microwave. As you guys can see, it did explode, but I'm gonna try to clean up the sides of this. Okay, I got it pretty well cleaned up. The toothpaste is definitely thicker than it was before I microwaved it, but you guys can see it is still melted from being in the microwave. So I'm just gonna let this dry out for a couple of minutes and we will check on it soon. Your toothpaste is still sticky like mine. You can add a little bit of salt and it will activate the toothpaste, the shampoo, but just make sure to add it a little bit at a time because you don't want to make it melt. Also, maybe try not to break the fork like I did. <laughs> slime of course is going to be slightly sticky because it is made out of toothpaste and shampoo but it will definitely form into a little bit of a slime and you can definitely play with it and it will be super good just make sure to mix it a lot and if you need to add some more salt if it is not already to the melted stage of activating with salt after all those steps you will end up with something like this this is honestly one of my favorite no glue slime recipes at the moment and later in this video we are going to be making a giant batch of it because i love it that much No idea how I came up with this concept exactly, but I was thinking that we could maybe make slime with mixing lotion and also acrylic paint because I feel like the acrylic paint would dry out the lotion and the lotion will also kind of keep it stretchy. So I wanted to test this out because I was thinking it would work super well. So all I did to make the slime is I just mixed some acrylic paint with the lotion and I wanted to leave it to sit so that it would dry out a bit, but the lotion would keep the acrylic paint slightly stretchy. So I left this to dry out a little bit for about 15 minutes, and here is how it looked after. Well, it kind of just stained my hands black for a whole week, so yeah, this was a fail. But I was still thinking it would be super cool to make black slime, so I wanted to test another black slime recipe later in the video, so watch out for that. As I promised you guys earlier, I was not going to be over with making the paint slime. So we are going to be giving this another try. And this time I'm going to be mixing black paint with some shampoo because I feel like the shampoo will make it a lot more stretchy. And if we need to, we can also add salt and basically just activate it. And that will be a guaranteed win. Pop this into the refrigerator for maybe 15 minutes or so. And we will check on it then. Okay, guys, my slime's done. Let's go check on it. Here's our slime you guys can see. Um, it is a little bit melty at certain spots, but I, okay, it's a little bit melty, but I'm just gonna make So at this point, you guys, I thought it was completely failed and I thought we were gonna have to go back to the drawing board again to make the paint slime, but don't worry, we ended up getting there. Because the shampoo was so sticky and it was basically just melting even more because it was cooling down from being in the freezer, I needed to fix it somehow, so I added some salt in and this instantly activated the shampoo and we actually ended up with a super great slime. As you guys know, I'm always on the lookout for new Nogu Slime recipes that I can share with you guys. And recently I discovered something that is kind of life-changing. And that is my recipe to make perfect crystal clear slime using egg. This recipe is super simple, but let's get straight into Starting it. Starting off, you need to separate the egg white from the egg yolk. And it sort of sounds complicated, but really all we're going to do is poke a hole in the back of our egg and then drain out the egg white and then put the egg yolk into our discard bowl. I made sure to save all of my empty eggshells because I'm going to be putting our slime into our egg yolk so that we can crack the eggs and inside of the egg will actually be slime. Now that we have cracked all of the eggs, it is time to move on to making the slime. The slime recipe is actually super easy. All we're going to be doing is mixing some Dawn dish soap with the egg whites that we saved from hollowing out the eggs. Right when you start mixing the egg whites into the Dawn dish soap, it is going to instantly transform into a clear slime, which is pretty unique because a lot of Nogu slime recipes you have to let sit and dry out. But for this one, you can see an instant reaction as if you were like mixing some glue and borax together. The more you mix the dish soap and the egg whites, the thicker it will get, but you do not want to over mix it because the egg whites will turn into a meringue and basically you won't be able to have slime. So the slime will have definitely formed at this point. It might be a little sticky. So what we are going to do is put it in the refrigerator so that it will get less sticky and it will also dry out. I actually left my slime in the refrigerator overnight so that it would not be sticky at all. So here is what my slime looked like after that. I know it is kind of a while to be overnight, but it turns super good, you guys. I promise. It's really cold, but it is not sticky and I'm super happy with it because it is also still fairly clear. So I'm super excited to pop these into our egg 
shells because hopefully it will look like an actual egg so all i did to assemble our eggs is i put a yellow pom-pom in all of our eggshells because when it gets soaked into the slime it's going to look like an actual egg yolk and then i filled all of them up with clear slime this can be a little bit tricky because it's hard not to crack the eggs and i definitely cracked a lot of eggs from trying to fill these up with the slime but what i found is the best way to fill the eggs up is by putting a little bit of slime at a time so just take a small little pinch of slime and just keep filling it up of course you guys don't have to make as many eggs as i made but for some reason i really wanted to make a whole dozen of these eggs can we just take a second for how thick this egg slime is i was so impressed This is optional, of course, but I added on some little faces to make it extra cute. I just used a Sharpie to do this, but you could also totally use black paint if you are more artistically talented. <laughs> but the little faces turned out so adorable, and I was so happy I added them. But for the moment I have been waiting for, and hopefully you guys have been excited for too, time to crack the eggs and see how our slime turned out. As you guys know, at the end of every video I post, I always make something interesting into a Nogu slime. This week, I am so excited because my favorite glitter company reached out to sponsor. So we are going to be mixing a bunch of the amazing glitters that Hemway sent us into this Nogu clear slime. These were a couple of my favorite holographic glitters. They are so cool and they're super unique. I have actually bought Hemway glitters a long time before they reached out to me because they genuinely just have the coolest glitter. I pre-made this batch of shampoo slime earlier. It was just some shampoo and some salt. Thought it would be super satisfying if I took some scoops of some of my favorite glitters and pigments and put them on the top of this clear slime and it actually looked super cool have so many amazing glitters that you can just use to transform all of your clear slimes they're all super unique so you guys can use code jshdiy if you would like to get 20 percent off your order all the glitters look so pretty and i was so excited to poke them all and just mix everything up i'm gonna be a little bit quieter now so that you guys can hear all the amazing slime poking and asmr so let's just sit back and relax and enjoy all the amazing glitter mixing I wish YouTube would add some sort of a feature where you guys could poke the slime through the screen because it was so amazing. All the glitters and pigments look so cool and I'm just literally so obsessed with Hemway and I'm still so shocked that they asked to sponsor this part of the video because I am literally the biggest fan of them and I've made so many cool slimes with their glitters along the time I've known about them. The slime was so pretty, I could literally watch all these clips back for hours, and I thought it was only fair if I shared some of it with you guys, so I'm going to be breaking up the slime and trying to send as much of it out to you guys as possible. Just comment down below so I can try to send some to you. Check out Hemway Glitter for your guys' slimes because it is literally my secret ingredient right now. Also, it is a great gift to ask for for the holiday season or maybe give to another slime lover, so make sure to check them out, and make sure to tag me and Hemway and all the pics of the cool slime creations you make with them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a great time, and if you did too and you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys later today. Bye!